Google doesn't have its own Pixel smartwatch. Instead, there are a lot of Google Wear OS watches and a lot more coming this fall with updated features like NFC payments and heart rate. Google also has a whole new version of Wear OS that's available to download. And if you have a Wear OS watch or Android Wear watch, you should definitely check it out. I downloaded it on a Fossil Q Explorist HR, and this is what it does. It's basically a bunch of easy to swipe gestures that really help you access a lot of key features on the watch a lot faster, and it feels a lot easier to use than it did before. Everything new in Wear OS is all about gestures, and they're all off the main watch face. So if you swipe down, now instead of getting settings, you actually get a number of little widgets and controls, which is a lot like Apple Watch. It allows you to get to things like Google Pay and other features faster and even play music from here, which is great. If you swipe up, you get your notifications. And now they're all compressed. They're not nested like Apple Watch OS 5, but still they're a lot more compressed than they were before and they're a lot easier to swipe and scan. And you can use a digital crown if your watch has that. Then, if you swipe over here down to the left, you get Google Fit. Google Fit's been redesigned. It now has activity rings based on move and heart points, which look for more active activity and everyday activity. All of this is a lot more like a regular fitness tracker. It's a lot easier to scan. Uh, not only is the fitness better, but it's easier to access. And then if you swipe to the right, you get Google Assistant. This gives you basic little things. You could search Google Assistant with it. It has a lot of recommended shortcuts that are pretty random, like interesting fact, or recite a limerick. What is the interesting fact, Google? As of 2017, Hong Kong has the most skyscrapers in the world. So with all those basic swipe gestures, and if you want to access watch faces, now you press and hold to get to them, it basically allows you to do a lot of quick swipe interactions on the watch which save a lot of time, and on this watch, actually, they feel pretty fluid. Wear OS watch faces can be always on, like you see here, in a dimmer mode, and then they activate when you touch them. And watch faces can be changed by tapping and holding and selecting different ones, some of them with complications which add information, some of just which have interesting funky designs. Each watch in Wear OS has its own selection of watch faces. You can also download others. To get to all of your apps in Wear OS, nothing's changed. You still click on the side button and bring up your list of apps to scroll through. If you're looking to buy a Google Watch and you have an Android phone, there are a lot of choices out there, including Samsung Galaxy Watch, which runs a totally different set of software and has different fitness features. But if you already have a Google Wear OS or Android Wear Watch, download this update. I think it's gotten a lot better, and I think the improvements are really noticeable.